this world, there are things that people mustn't touch. Who cares? Hey there guys, and welcome back to Baton Kaitos. Wow. I don't know why I keep doing that. I almost, I almost said Baton Kaitos, Trigger Happy Havoc, and that is not correct at all. Oi. So we finished, last episode, we finished Deton, which I keep thinking is like the opposite of Nocturne. Um, I don't actually know what it means. I'm sure it means something. And I, oh, I can't go past it. I can come up here if I want to. That's obviously a location, as is this, but I'm not allowed to go to them yet. So, we are going back to the city. We found out at the very end of the last episode that there's something that's going to happen. There's a cutscene that will occur as soon as we get to this city. Uh, but we did not see it. Let's find it now. To the confectionery town! Oh, that guy is, like, super sassy. He's like, do you know how long I've been waiting? <laughs> These must be the strangers they were talking about. <laughs> Where were you? What have you been up to? Don't you know it's impolite to point? And wow, everyone in the street is like staring at us too. We're super popular. Hey, what's the big idea? What do you want with us? Don't play innocent. Lady Melody has been kidnapped. So the people who weren't in the city are the ones that you're going to accuse of kidnapping her. Hey, Lady Melody has been kidnapped and you weren't a present. So clearly you were the ones that... Wait, what? Everyone that's here is the suspect. I was the one that has an alibi and was not. A group of suspicious-looking strangers, what we've heard. Oh, okay, that makes slightly more sense then. Must be a lot of you. Who else could it be? What? You're out of your mind. It's probably the guys from the Empire that just landed. Wait, he's no friend of mine. He'd never do something like that. And who could it be? No one in Mira would even think of doing such a thing to Lady Melodia. Are you saying the Empire's what? No one mentioned the Empire until you. Why would you say that? He's a personal friend of Emperor Gilliblame, as you well know. I... Why are you talking about the Empire? That's a very odd thing to bring up. Are you suspicious? Do you know something we don't? Get out of the way, Trill. You'll be in trouble, too, if you keep acting like that. Dude! You can't just hit civilian... Mira's corrupt as hell. Yeah, I... Cal, no, we should do as they say for now. No, we should, like, paint the... We should, like, top their, um, strawberry baskets with their blood. He's still standing like that. So sassy. <laughs> Virgil captures the Duke's manor. Palace guards will be coming by shortly. Until then, behave yourselves. Yeah, this was a great idea. Thanks for telling us to cooperate. Nothing bad happened. So now what? Any bright ideas? I'm worried about the little lady. Empire must have kidnapped her. Giacomo's men. Their intent must be to force Mira to hand over the Ed Magnus in exchange for her safety. The Empire must be running out of time. Now that both Diadem and Anu and they are taking measures against them. <laughs> Mira lacks the military strength needed to face the Empire. That's true. What should we do? Um, uh, well, yeah, obviously. You're right, Damiol. Dang right! I'm glad someone finally acknowledges it. We can't just sit here and wait. We must find Lady Melody and rescue her ourselves. All right, how do we get out of here? We go through this. It's, it's built to make any everything, no matter what you put in. I like this music. I got beef. It's not all that difficult for us to break through this village. That's not a wise course of action. If I force our way out of the village, we'll stir up their suspicions even more. Oh, I've got him with me! Haha, <laughs> he ditched you. 
I'll figure out if you're just letting me look, but the problem is how to get out. Is there any way to get out and not harm the villages? I'm sure there is. <laughs> Tell out isn't a house made of candy. Let's eat our way out. What am I supposed to do exactly? I don't see anything to do here. Hey, I think I got it. Okay, that's what I had to do. Think about it. This house is made of candy. We just eat our way out. <laughs> I was kidding! Then we can crawl through the hole without being noticed. I s then we'll be able to get out without harming the villagers. See, great idea, huh? So, who's gonna make the hole? I have to maintain my girlish figure. Have you seen the things I wear? What? I was asking who's gonna eat a huge clump of sugar. Uh, that's... I don't think, you know, sweets and girls don't, you know, they're not good for us. Oh, shut up, Zelha! We all have the same anatomy. Or not anatomy, but physiology. And thank you, but I must too deny the offer. So I was told not to eat too many sweets when I was, was a, when I was a child. Yeah, we're only being held for execution. It's not like this is pressing or anything. Likewise, I don't hate sweets, but I'm not into eating so much sugar. You know, if we all ate some of it... <laughs> Jesus Christ, people. You can count me out. Well, whoever thought of this, I just should do it, right? Right, Gibari? Fine. All you just you watch. Ugh. Can't eat anymore. Why don't you just park it a little, just the edge? It's not bad for a wall. Well, you're almost done. Keep on. You guys are freaking jerks. You all, you all should just be executed for this. Good lord. Oh man, I'm feeling a little sick. What works? Teamwork. Why did you stand there the entire time he was eating the wall? Yikes. I can't believe you ate the wall. Are you insane? What's up, Trudge? You gonna break us out? Um, I believe you guys. It was like the people who kidnapped the Melody were heading to the Picture Book Village. If you plan to go after them, use that this route, Callus. I'm still planning on making you some sweets, you know. So don't go dying on me. I I think Callus is barred from eating sweets after bloody ditching Gabari like that. Freaking jerk. Now, if I was gonna live in Mira of the two cities so far, I would definitely live here. Definitely live here. This is eclectic and weird, but at least, oh my gosh, I would not like die of diab. I wouldn't live in the freaking diabetes village. I'd live in the like insanity village, and insanity is better than diabetes. Do not ask him for an answer. He will not feed us, and we will be we will be a starving dog. He would never stoop so low. Not he. Never. He is the judge that confronts and accuses us with his questions. Questions as sharp as a dagger. Prepare yourself, all of you. The day of his awakening is drawing near. After all these years, the legend of Cursed Malpersio will finally come to fruition. He will walk our lands reborn. There is no running, there is no hiding, not from his wrath. What are you babbling about? Beware, the time of his awakening approaches. After lying in slumber for ages, his time has come! The resurrection of Cursed Mount Perseo is upon us! Look hard, ye may! There's nowhere to run! There's nowhere to hide! Hi there! Okay, kitty, you can't sit there. You can't sit there. Holy crap! It's a disco dance with... Psycho people. 
Kitty, don't knock stuff over. You're a bad kitty. You are a bad kitty. You know that? You're a bad kitty. Yes, I do prioritize talking to the... What are you doing all mopey? There's no point in talking to them. They say things that no one understands, and when they start dancing, they never stop. I guess that's called releasing stress. Okay, I, I may take it back. I, I, no, I still do prefer this place to the other place. Weird. Do you know about the Shrine of Spirits? The Shrine is revered and quite breathtaking, but it's also a bit spooky. I wouldn't recommend it to the casual tourist. Those who visit it have been from another world. A spirit may come down. I bet it will, then. Spirits live in another world, yet their voices and thoughts transcend dimensional barriers. Some say these spirits may even be the voice of the dead. Maybe they're ghosts who still don't know they're dead. <laughs> Just kidding about the ghost. Did that spook you out a little there? Humans, if you want to know yourselves, go to the hidden house of the fortune teller. No, thou must go. Offer me the mirage weed, thus it shall be a clue to know thyself. I actually have that. Except it, it goes away as soon as you, like, pick it up. When the guardian spirit bonds with someone, its strength and wisdom will help him or her influence the destiny of the world. But I should also tell you, no matter how hard you pray, the chances of seeing a spirit are one in a thousand. Well, that's actually pretty good damn odds! Might as well not even try. It's basically impossible to get a spirit to bond with you. I've already got one, sir. Well, okay, I don't have one. I am one, but you know. What is it, young one? Well, I have something to ask this gifted abstract paint. Wow. What? What? She is, like, so freaking humble. You have someone to ask this gifted abstract painter? That would be like, oh, you you have come to the Grand Poopa of Quality Assurance? What is it you seek? <laughs> Whoa, are you making fun of me? You'll get in trouble. How did she know? Holy shit! This game is psychic. Here's have some salt. Hi, crazy thing. This world consists of infinite fables that foolish people would never understand. And humans are only distant travelers who hide their faces underneath their masks. Everything is just like a fantasy. It goes up and disappears. Just like a short lived tune. Short lived tune, not short lived tune. To the church. So I'm sure we have some leveling up to do. Holy crap, I forgot they were dead. Aww. <laughs> she can't level up. You can level up when you're dead, but only whenever... So I'm level 21, most people level 20. Savnia kind of like dropped the ball and is down at level 19. I don't know. Nope. Sorry, man. I tried. Alright, so we'll head back out. And I need to get to a place to sleep in order to get Savnia back up. Okay, come on. Return to adventure! Rest my wings. Rest other things as well. Oh, 
Light Flare level 3. Oh. Well, fine. So I will have to obviously shop if I'm near a shop at the end of the episode, because it will crash my game if I try and do it now, and that would be bad. I would not like that. That would be terrible. Hello! As it detached from the tiresome din of everyday human existence, the doll is asleep, silent and motionless. There's a backwards question mark there. I want to try and go that way, but not yet. In the passing of tens of in the passing of ten thousand years, only a few decades are given to you. What what meaning do these years hold? Among the billions of lives that have become, what is the significance of yours? That is up to you to find out. There is no truth in this world. But the world is filled with truths. To find meaning in your life, you must first discover the meaningless of your life. This voice acting done by Eleven. I don't get what these villagers are going on about. They bob around like half-broken wind-up dolls, and they try and apply their bizarre logic to everything. Everything, especially the one that's yelling something about Malpercio. He's really weird. If I wasn't near on business, I'd have never come here. So I'm not seeing anything about the people who um, abduct a runade. And I can't go into question mark land. Question mark land. I think like I should be able to go through there. There's another one of those things down here. Excuse me. No, I can't get to it. So, what am I supposed to do? This room seems significant. But it may not be. There's the sun and the moon. But that doesn't seem to do anything. Huh. What do you want, game? Oh, what? That's bizarre as anything. Okay, so I went back to the garden. I picked some more Mirage Weed because this guy kept asking for it, but I, I don't know why this one stayed and the previous one didn't. So I definitely picked it while I was in there. You'll open the... Okay, well... Alright! That is awesome. And... What the hell? Oh no, I lost the whatever the hell was up there. So that's not there. Now I can't go this way. What was over there? I've forgotten because the store's down there. Oh well. <laughs> Aha. And you are the hidden person. Person man. I, I, I would actually like to talk to this person now. There we go. Oh! Interesting, because you... I've met you before, but you're, like, translocational. Huh, now, this is strange. This young man here, I feel no madness within him. I almost want to turn on voice acting for this. You know what? I think I will. I think I will. I think I will. Just because this seems like a scene that really needs it. And her voice actress was always pretty good. Hmm. Now this is strange. 
This young man here, I feel no madness within him. Okay, that's interesting. I thought this was the same woman from the intro, but the intro of her voice is very different. I like, turned on specifically because I wanted to hear her voice again. Just an empty and lonely darkness. What do you mean, no Magnus? Couldn't be. <laughs> this is kind of funny. I've been voice acting Gabari so long, I've... Like, his actual voice actor seems wrong now. Every life form, every tangible object in this universe has its own unique Magnus. He shouldn't be able to exist if he doesn't have one. Then it must mean he is not of this world. Interesting. They're not sensing me, are they? They're sensing Callus. Callus also doesn't have, is not, is like otherworldly, but he grew up in Mira. That's ridiculous. You're saying I'm a monster or something? Well, no, monsters are of this world too. <laughs> Spare me the dime store fortune telling. Hmm. So you don't believe my words? Not that I blame you. Well, I, I, I do have to say, I think this experiment into turning voice acting back on did not end up well, because, uh, it's... How a face looks depends on the eyes of he who sees. How a voice sounds depends on the ears of she who hears. Hey, don't blame me for your voice acting. Someday you will know who you really are. Th that's in the intro! And in the intro, the voice acted so much better, because she's like, Someday you will know who you really are. I swear, I'm, I'm going to, like, at the end of the episode, I'm going to play the intro again. Or I'll do it right now. Hold on, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh-oh. There are people, Any then. news of Lady Melodia? Nope. Nothing. Can't find her anywhere. I heard the strangers who kidnapped her were caught in Parnas, though. You know if that's credible? No idea. Either way, there's no sign of a lady at this point. Hey! Listen up! <laughs> that a group of strangers entered the Shrine of Spirits. Supposedly, a couple of villagers saw them. One of them seemed to be a young girl wearing a hood. Oh, there, we, we found her. Are you sure? A girl with a hood? Yes. We should get down to that shrine on the double. Let's split up and search for the lady on the right. I'll be right there. Right. I'm amazed that we can, like, eat our way out of a room and, like, not be found, like, an hour, two hours later. So I definitely spent a long time before I went back to get the mir Mirage Weed. The strangers, this girl of theirs, must be Giacomo and his goons. Oh, it's Giacomo. Giacomo. I kind of like Giacomo. Let's head for the Shrine of Spirits. <laughs> Voices back off, please. Thank you. Okay, so I want to go save real quick, and then I will replay the intro, just because... It, that really bothers me, when they, they've even got a really good voice actor for the intro movie. And then it's just, it's a lot worse in-game, and I don't understand that. But here, for those of you who have forgotten what the intro sounds like... Because it, it, it's like the last line of the intro, too, and it's so good. I usually always skip this, but hey. A long, long time ago it was. She's so much better here. People began to dwell in the sky. A terrible war was waged between us humans and the wicked god. After the horrendous battle, our ancestors entombed the wicked god and left the polluted and barren earth to find a future in the sky. Interesting. 
Interesting, that makes it look like she, like the, well, no, that was just one island, not the whole kingdom. There are things that people mustn't touch. Who cares? The god of demise and destruction, the cursed power of Malpertio. The Eth Magnus? Never heard of that before. Because all these are lines from the game. The bastards. And that sounds more like how I voice him. It's unthinkable to act against the Empire? Us heroes, we have so much to do. I've been waiting. Kill him. If left alone, it will prove a threat to my Empire. Let us trust the Just young one more. who hold the spirit within them. Ah! Struggle alone will fill a great emptiness within you and ease your pain. How long have you known? Come on, Gibari! Move it! Go away! Again, that's how I voice him. Someday you will know who you really are. See, last line of the intro, and it's so much better voice there. So much better voice there. So, I'm guessing that this means, since Callus is not of this world, he's from the world below. Especially since I just watched that intro and it said, Someday you will, or, you know, to be your dream to be, and then it fades to, like, a whale jumping out. I don't think Callus is literally a whale. <laughs> Alright? But I do think that he's probably from the lands below and showed up in Mira. But, I will end the episode here. Thank you very much for tuning in. Next time, we will go to the Shrine of the Spirits and we will find Melodia. Look forward to it, guys!